Hey! Why do we never get this when we do it? Hey guys, this is... Oh, I forgot my Pringles for you. We're gonna eat some Pringles and get to know more about each other. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I can do that. Hey guys, this is Pringles Crunch Time Chat. I'm Pingu, and I'm here to wonder. We're gonna eat some Pringles and get to know more about each other. And of course, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Nailed it. We have Pringles to pop. Some originals. Let's, uh, let's see what it's about. I have tried these before, so we it's have. Like, it is not a oh. uh, first time uh, Pringles experience for me. Maybe you go back in time and get the first experience again. Cheers Three, two, with one. the Pringles. Yeah, cheers. So do we just start? I, I can take it away. We've met each other before. Yeah, we have. In Denmark, you can have like this uh, one year school, basically. I met you there and we also went to most of the same classes. We had like the same kind of friends in the school in Danish lessons. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to them about how I play video games and I play League and stuff. And they're like, yeah, we play League as well. We're like mm -hmm. gold, silver, you know, we're not that good. Mm. But Martin, Martin is really good. I honestly didn't know how good you were until the exams came around because during the exams I was like, where's Martin? They're like, oh, mm -hmm. he's like doing Challenge League finals. Like he's not mm -hmm. gonna be here. And I was like, but if he's doing Challenge League finals, that means he's like really, really good. Yeah. And uh, I had to turn on my, my TV and like look you up and you're like actually like basically a pro player. Mm -hmm. And that was the first moment where I was like, I've been to school and shared the same lessons with an actual pro league player. And we live very similar lifestyles in one way, but we also live very different lives. I live in an apartment with my girlfriend, you live in a gamer house without a girlfriend. I have a cat, you're allergic, like mm -hmm. there's a lot of differences there. Is there anything you do in terms of hobbies or outside the game that might even help you when actually playing the game at a high level? Mm -hmm. I don't meditate, I don't no? do stuff like this, no, I didn't really like... Have you tried? Uh, I haven't tried, but I do, I do like, I do like the feeling of relaxation, you know? So maybe okay. I should get into it. I play like a lot of World of Warcraft, I guess. <laughs> so that maybe that's your like meditation. That's so my speak, meditation. Like, that's... that's like where I like just, I don't turn my brain off because uh, of course I want to- You want to do good. I want to but... do good in World of Warcraft too. And I enjoy playing the game maybe even more so than League, right? As, yeah. as maybe some people can tell. Of course I love competing yeah, in, in League of Legends, but- Playing for fun. Yeah, playing for fun is, is, uh, is usually what, uh, what kind of drives me towards, I guess, other yeah. games. One of the things I miss the most about Denmark is uh, probably like the pastries. Like pastries to pastries, pastries yeah. in Denmark, oh, mwah. Way better than Germany. Most of all, whenever I go to Denmark, I come to my station in Ustergrim and there's this like local bakery that's super old and it's been around for like the longest time and it's super great, super expensive. Mm -hmm. And I'm all, I always get a Wolzenbowl. And I bring it to like my mom's place and we eat a Wolzenbowl for breakfast. And People it's like, are gonna be watching this, they're like, what? You know, what, what is Wolzenbowl? Like, I put in a picture of like Wolzenbowl. Well, Speaking of Denmark, why do you think that Danish people are superior to to maybe other people in, in esports? It's absurd how good we are. And I think there's like a like a lifelong question for everyone, not just Danish people, like why are Danish people so goddamn good at esports games? Mm -hmm. It must just be like a cultural thing or like a competitive thing or like we really strive to be really good. Mm -hmm. Like we're I know at least for me. When I was younger, we were all very competitive amongst each other as friends. And obviously, if you're competitive by nature or as a culture, that will typically lead into like high performance, I imagine. As mentioned earlier as well, the educational system, you can always return. Of course, you have to, well, low-key start over again. Yeah. But there are some things you can, there are some things you can return to and it's not going to hurt you uh, academically, I guess. Um, yeah. So that's, I mm -hmm. guess, a big thing compared to, to other countries. A good tip for, for anyone watching is that there's times you have to grind it out. You have to maybe do something that you don't like too much, but you have to do it for the grind, right? I don't stream a lot. Yeah, I'm not like that good at spending my time to do like the, con the content side of things. In my opinion, if I burn myself out too much on League, I can't give uh, everything I have for, for team practice, which is maybe like the most important thing. Yeah. So I would say find like a good balance. Especially when I do this for a long time. Mm. You should focus on anything from like posture. I could I could be the, the guy with posture. To ergonomics, to sleep, to food habits, to dieting, you know, working out, etc. Because, you know, being on top for a year or two years, that's that's easy. But if you want to do it for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, if you start off rough 
and you're bad in the middle as well. All of a sudden, it's gonna hit really hard. So if you've got a big tournament come up, sure, put in some more hours and just spike and have a great performance, but you can't maintain that peak the entire season. That's just not worth the effort, right? Find the balance. So thank you guys for watching the, the Pringles Crunch Time Chat. This is Penku from the Rainbow Six team. I'm Wonder from the League team. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and put down the comment below who, you, who you'd want to see on the next Pringles Crunch Time Chat.